Hello everyone, hope you're having the most fantastic day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss some Season 3 Ink Master contestants and reveal how they are doing now. So sit back, relax and without further ado, let's get right into the content guys. Frank McManus America voting freaks me out. I gotta be on my game. Frank McManus came into Season 3 of Ink Master with a lot of brash confidence that was likely due to his relatively young age and appearance. He was 29 years old and felt that his hard work and outspoken persona would help him stand out amongst the industry veterans. Unfortunately, this plan backfired and he was the first to be booted out of Ink Master. As for his artistry, he had six years of experience and focused mostly on American traditional pieces while relying on bright, vibrant colors to make his art pop. The tattoo that got him eliminated was a cover-up of a pit bull. He chose to cover it up with a baboon, which other contestants ridiculed as looking like a dead baboon with a broken jaw. The judges were not fans either and thought he didn't get any of the textures right. The hair, the mouth and the teeth were all lacking in texture. The tattoo looked faded, with the shading in particular lacking vibrancy. Not to mention that because it was a chest tattoo, the baboon ended up having a nipple on its chin. It looked ridiculous and was not an overall good effort at all. After the show, he went to work as a tattoo artist in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, at a space rented by his friend Brian Campbell. He's not active online. Later on, he moved to San Francisco to improve his tattooing skills. In 2016, he appeared on Ink Master Redemption, where he successfully redeemed himself by tattooing a stunning Capricorn goat tattoo. Mystical Mike Paterek. For this flash challenge, your human canvas is behind bars. Oh, no way. Mike Paterek's mystical powers could not save him from being the second contestant to get eliminated after he inked a musical note tattoo that completely failed to follow the challenge's requirements. They were supposed to come up with a realism tattoo, but Paterek tattooed a musical note with strands of muscle inside it, and the result was not convincing at all. It was a thoroughly poor effort, made worse by the fact that he started critiquing other contestants' efforts during elimination. For example, like on Ali's tattoo, let's say tendons tie ligaments link. It's a little rhyme in the medical industry. Well, and Mike, she at least attempted to show it. those things. His canvas had also suffered under his hands because he only used a liner needle, which made the canvas's healing process painful. He had come into the show with eight years of experience and was known for his detailed illustrations. He was mostly inspired by comic book superheroes, and one of his submissions was a tattoo of Carnage, which wasn't the worst thing ever. He would also pompously call himself a philosopher of the needle and speak verbosely to appear smart. He would appear in two other seasons, Ink Master Cupid's Ink and Ink Master Redemption. In the Cupid Challenge, he drew a strange little man with a big head that looked more like a $10 Backstreet tattoo. As for the Redemption episode, his returning canvas refused to let him tattoo her and instead chose to have her tattoo done by Jimmy. He currently works as a tattoo artist at Red Dragon Tattoo and Piercing in the Bronx, New York. It has four stars on Google reviews across 134 reviews. Madison Maddie LaBelle Loftus. Maddie. The legs on a spider don't come off the bulbous tail, smaller body part. Maddie LaBelle was the first contestant to get eliminated from season three of Ink Master. She was a jack of all trades, capable of doing any style that came her way. At 25 years of age, she had five years of experience in tattooing and was committed fully to the art. Her whole body appeared to be a canvas for her and she was adamant that she'd never have a nine to five job. She stated that I will never have a 9-to-5 job, tattoos are my life, my passion, my everything. She was a self-taught tattoo artist who learnt the basics in the underground industry of North Carolina. As for her artistry, she was best known for her portraits and black and grey tattoos. She was determined not to be perceived as a damsel in distress and was out to gain the respect she believed she deserved. The tattoo that got her eliminated in episode 3, even before the elimination round, was her garter tattoo around a woman's thigh. The judges thought that the outline and shading were jacked and that she lacked consistency. During the show, Loftus found out she was pregnant midway through filming in April. She informed the producers but kept it from her castmates. Her due date was the week of the live finale. 
In 2015, after the show had been aired, Loftus would be arrested for a misdemeanor assault of unknown circumstances. She was 28 years old at the time and famously requested that she be taken to custody once she finished pumping breast milk for her five-year-old daughter, Luna. The police accepted this request and she surrendered herself to the Guilford County Jail, but was released later on. This was not the first time she'd been incarcerated. Early in 2014, she was arrested for misdemeanor assault and battery on her boyfriend. She used to work as a tattoo artist at Corrupted Art Studio in Greensboro, Boton, Carolina. The shop has excellent reviews on both Google and Facebook. Today, she owns her own tattoo studio called New Moon Tattoo, which she started in 2018 and now has 4.9 stars across 77 reviews. She lives in Las Vegas, Nevada, and is a single mother of two. James Harvey. The only two people right now that give a about you getting a good tattoo or not is me and you. You don't have to swim faster than the other fish. James Danger Harvey was the fourth to be booted out of Ink Master Season 3. He used to own a tattoo and piercing shop called Skin Gallery Tattoo in Sacramento, California, which is currently closed. According to his Instagram, he is now a tattoo artist at Folsom City, Inc. in Folsom, California. When he came into the show, Harvey introduced himself as always having had a passion for art and would often doodle in his maths test in high school. He took his love for art into tattooing in all genres, choosing not to restrict himself to any one area. He was also an avid motorcyclist, adrenaline addict, and was trained in the self-defense art of Krav Maga. In episode two, Harvey tattooed a realism tattoo on a canvas's upper arm that was intended to have the effect of skin ripped open to reveal bone and tissue. Unfortunately, the judges were displeased with his work, with Oliver Peck commenting that the bone he drew looked like a glowing test tube. It was a poor tattoo that really did not capture the intended realism effect and ended up looking confused. His garter tattoo later on that he did on a lady was also horrible and looked like it was done by a public toilet graffiti artist. Episode 3 would see him exit the show for good as he butted heads with his canvas, who decided to walk out on him. He was combative with his canvas and neglected to take kindly to her ideas on what she wanted. Instead, he tried to impose his ideas on her, which led to her walking out. Despite this setback, Harvey could have chosen to tattoo the requested Phoenix design on himself. Still, given his earlier work, it was unlikely he'd ever win Ink Master. In an Instagram reply in February this year to a question about why he didn't attend the finale of Ink Master, Harvey said, I refused to attend as they paid for the client actress to walk out on me due to a producer having an issue with me not playing the douchebag role she wanted me to play and they wanted the drama. The actress was to attend the season finale so that she could have more drama. I told them I wanted no part in the fakeness of the show and told them if they ever mentioned my name, I would release a YouTube tell-all about the inside workings of the show and how bad it truly was. So they said nothing. They tried to stick their lawyers on me, but I refused to sign anything. Maybe I will do a tell-all. I think it's time. I've gotten thousands of messages and people still want to know. Folsom City Inc. has a score of 4.5 on Yelp across 50 reviews. Ali Lee. Ali. Size-wise, you went a little bit too big. Single needle, it's a finely detailed craft. Ali Lee was featured in season three of Ink Master, and she was the fifth contestant to be eliminated in that season. She had six years of experience as a tattoo artist and was renowned for her photorealism and colorful floral artwork. She described art as being war because she was passionate about it and felt the need to defend it. For her final tattoo, she would get into a minor scuffle when she punched a client who called her a whore because she didn't do a satisfactory job tattooing a Celtic cross with four number 13 surrounding it. I felt she was pretty justified in punching that hillbilly. Even most fans felt that this was not her fault because she had followed the canvas's instructions and was therefore not to blame for the finished product. Her second last tattoo before the Celtic cross was a phoenix engulfed in flames, clutching a skull, and unfortunately it did not impress the judges. They thought it was messy and muddy with poor texture. Her poor performance twice in a row sent her packing. She currently owns her own tattoo and piercing shop called Hot Rod Alley Tattoo in Santa Cruz, California. She is pretty active on Instagram, where she showcases more of her colorful artistry, which is predominantly floral. She gets rave reviews on both Facebook and Instagram. On Facebook, she has 4.8 stars across 72 reviews. 
Well, that will be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this, and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys!